here we go. We're going to be testing this eBay body armor side panel. It's only about, I don't know, quarter about inch. quarter inch, three eighths. Just cheap body armor from eBay. It was $120 for the front and back and these two side panels. So we're going to test these ones and we're going to test them with a variety of calibers. And Carson's going to help me today. Right, Carson? Yeah. There we go. He's he's really enthusiastic about it. And so here's what we're going to use. We're going to start off with the 9 millimeter. And over here. And then we'll get a little bit more velocity out of the MP5 and shoot at it with another 9 millimeter and check it out. We got 44 Magnum. We got 223 and 45.70 and 45 ACP, 230 grain out of my custom 1911. So, first up is going to be the 9 millimeter. What do you like to do first? Well, first get your ears on. All right. All right. One round, just one round. Yep, we see the one round. All right, here we go. I missed. <laughs> that was disappointing. Yeah, I rushed it. Ugh. Now I just dropped it. There we go. Pick up that bullet, boy. We'll get back on track. Load that in. Right. Don't rush your shot this time. All right. Ready when you are. Oh, what the hell? We got a jam. This is a very bad video. <laughs> this did this to me before, too. Let's try it again. Shooter ready. Jam again. You know what? We're going to skip that. Go right to the MP5. All right. For some reason that's not working very well. All right. Nine millimeter. Nine millimeter. A little bit of velocity on this one. Nice uh, hit on it. Shooter ready? I'm ready. Okay. You knocked it off. Yeah, I was expecting that. Clear? Let's go check it out. Alright. How we did against. I don't see any holes in the back, so that's a good sign. Uh, oh, look at that! This is in right in there. It's even got the uh, the anti spall. See that all bubbled up like that? Well, that's hot. Yep, it kept all the splatter in there, so it's got this anti spall coating on it too, which is not bad for a cheap. Look at those little fragments coming out of the bottom there. That's pretty good. For a cheap body armor, no bulges on the back. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. That was where it went in right there. All right, so it definitely stopped nine millimeter, no problem. Let's step it up a little bit and use a 44 mag. All right. All right. Carson's gonna use the 44 mag now. This has been sighted in for about 50 yards. So, here we go. Okay, 44 mag. No, I am just gonna use one. Okay. I never use this one. There it is, 
that that. Okay, yeah, yeah, high. That's why I brought out an extra round, just aim a little bit lower this one. I can shoot a Nerf dart off of a branch from 75 yards, but yeah. I can't hit there. Yeah, but this is sighted in for about 50 yards. We're only at about 15. All right, well, now you just split my cinder block in half, <laughs> and you I missed it again. I had it right where it was supposed to be. Here we go again. Yeah. Carson missed the first two shots like I missed the first shot with the Canic. And split the block in half. Here we go again, 44 Magnum. All right, Woo. that time we got it. Leave the action open. There you go, just set it on the table. Okay, the Henry 44 Mag. Let's see what we got. Jeez, you just barely hit that. No bulges on the back. No, nope. that's where you hit it. So this, this has also got that anti-spall protection on it already. Look at that, that thing's just two shots and that thing's toast. Done. So that's not bad for cheap uh, eBay body armor. These were an add-on. So for $120, I got these two of these and two 10 by 12. So the two 10 by 12s were $89 for the set and these ones with that were 120. So it added another $30 for those side panels. So, so far so good. Not bad for cheap armor. And then go and we'll leave that on there. We'll, you know, we'll move it up. We'll step it up to two, two, three. Already? Why not? Oh, we'll save the. Oh, uh, you know Let's do. We'll. I guess we'll shoot the forty-five. We'll do a forty-five right here. So there you go. All right. I'm just gonna put one in there. So I'm gonna take some of these out. All okay. right. Just one round. Would you like to show them that it's just one round? One round will do it. All right. Okay. You sure? 1911. Shooter ready? Um, oh, there we go. There. Nice shot. Of course it was. Not <laughs> <laughs> of course. I only missed what my first shot with the nine volt. All right. I can see the hole down at the yeah. top right, right, right there. there. Right there, so. Still? Nothing. Didn't even dent it. Looks like there's a coating on the back side of it, too. See that? Just a small coating on, on the back side of this, too. So for an extra 30 bucks for these little side panels with the, uh, the anti-spall or the spall coating or... Um, anti splatter coating for an extra 30 bucks it's not bad so what should we use next i'd say the 223 now the 223 will speed speed is usually for armor so let's shoot the 4570 that's a bigger caliber but it's moving much slower than the 223 all right Back over to two two. Uh, wait. So, you said uh. Forty five seventy. Right. Forty five seventy. All right. Two rounds right here. All right. Carson's gonna shoot this one. Hopefully he hits the target this time. <laughs> I'm sure he'll do fine. All right. Forty five seventy. Red to fire. Against eBay body armor. I think it might have gone through. <laughs> uh, I saw that spall coating. I saw that spall coating just fly. 
everywhere <laughs> and just completely annihilated that center block okay well here's the spall coating i'll try and find the actual plate so that came huh. all the way back about i don't know that's probably about another six or seven yards and we're shooting it at about 15 yards funny thing is it how's it look didn't go through didn't it go through just is there a dent or is that where you hit it uh, no, like that, the, that was a 44 i hit right there are you sure of that yeah i think that was the nine millimeter the 44 was over here but that i could feel a little dent in that but still stopped it nothing even so went through well let's see if we can prop this up Ooh, yeah yeah that's because the spall coating came off didn't do that for the first couple but yeah so we'll turn this around it seems to have a spall coating on the back for the for the 223 so we'll see what happens there well let's put a couple of cans on the side and see what happens see if uh any of the splatter comes off of that all right so here we go two two three ah. one round one round god that gun looks nice now all painted up look at that hold on let me just get a close-up of that oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh a second all right we're gonna try this again we're gonna put another shot in it and i think you missed no yeah you missed no you clear Dead center. Yeah, I don't think so. Pop that right nope. Okay, let's try this again. Look you missed. Dead center. Is that? I think maybe you hit the very bottom right there. My aim is not on today. Yeah. Look, see that? So if this this was like this, look at that. So you hit, it skimmed from here, went between here and here, and popped over in that hole right there. See that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll give you another shot at it. Maybe you can hit it this time. Yeah, that's what I would say too. It's my first time shooting too. <laughs> good thing I brought three rounds out, huh? Yeah, good thing. <laughs> well, let's just get another look at that gun. Oh, that looks so sexy. Oh, all right. Here we go. See if he hits it this time. You probably went right underneath it. Okay. Let's try this again. Maybe we'll hit it this time. Remember, just put it right above it. There you go. That time we hit it. All right. Let's see. Where'd that other bullet go? That is sexy. It's in the mag. It's in the magazine. All right. Let's see what he did on that one. He flipped the plate off there pretty good. All right. Well, that held up really well to 223. Let's see if there's any damage on the. Not really. I mean, there's a little bit of. A little bit of fragmentation on that, but 
most part did. And that was sitting right like that. Oh, actually, it was sitting just like that. Look at that. You can see kind of the curve. So that's. It's really not bad for. For, for cheap body armor. I mean, for an extra 30 bucks, got that spall coating on there. I mean, compared to quality armor, it's. I mean, it's not as good, but for 30 bucks on a budget, I would say it's not bad. Some may argue, but, well, let's just finish off the cinder block. Oh, yeah. yeah. Take this out of here. Yeah, we'll just destroy Well, that's a pretty gun, too. Look how sexy that is. Just get a close up on that. That's so nice. Oh. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, 45 ACP. I'm ready. Yeah. Missing or are you looking for one of the other targets? No, I was looking for the target in the banner. Oh, the one way down there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You take this. I'm gonna take care of that with the uh, five. First shot just ended it. Love this thing. Baby. Ah, one of the fragments hit my balls. One of the fragments came back and hit my nuts. <laughs> it happens. Oh, I love this thing. So nice. Well, I guess that's it for this video. <laughs> I don't know what you were doing with that. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get All it. All right. You You'll get it when you watch a video. Thumbs up. Like it, subscribe. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, well, we figured we just got one more round with the 4570. Let's just see it destroy that center block. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's pretty sweet. <laughs>